The waiting was long under the hot sun in the port city of Santos, but it was worth it for the mass of Brazilians that wanted to pay their last respects to the king of football. Pelé, the former Brazilian football player who died last Thursday from colon cancer at the age of 82, left an indelible mark in the football history and in the life of many here. Pelé is a great symbol of Brazilian football. He is a great icon of the whole nation. For my mother, who introduced me to him and isn't here, I'm very shaken. It has been two years I haven't come here to the stadium, and coming in a situation like this is really important. The flags, the flowers and the number 10 jersey that Pelé used while playing for Santos Football Club, where he spent the most important part of his career, could be seen all over the long line, along with the applause, love and gratitude of the crowd. I have a jersey with his autograph. I saw him playing here a lot, in Villa Belmiro. To us, he is an idol. I can't talk a lot because I start crying. He left history to us, that's life. What can we do? He meant everything to me, my youth, the 70s World Cup, the goals. In the stadium, supporters could see Pelé's coughing from a footbridge in the center of the field only for a few seconds in a ceremony that started on Monday. During the 24-hour funeral, thousands and thousands of Brazilians came to say their last goodbye to Pelé here in the Santos Stadium, known as Vila Belmiro, where, along with his performance in the Brazilian national team, he was consecrated as the greatest player of his time and enchanted the world with his football. Even some foreigners, like this Indian citizen who has lived in Rio de Janeiro for eight years, came to pay his respects. Pelé is a global icon. He's an icon which transcends the sport of football. There's people around the world who don't know about Brazil, don't know about Argentina, but they know about Pelé. They know about what he represents, especially to the minorities. And it's a big signal for hope. And it's a symbol for the Brazilian people of what you can achieve coming from nothing to achieving greatness. Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, who just started his third term as president of Brazil, FIFA's president Gian Infantino, besides other authorities, were present in the ceremony. After that, Pelé's coffin was taken around the city of Santos and passed by his mother's house, who is 100 years old. The procession ended in the Ecumenic Necropolis Memorial, the biggest vertical cemetery of the world, where he was buried. Luciana Tadeu, TRT World, Santos, Brazil.